Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, today I'm going to reveal the myth and also the real cause of high blood sugar and diabetes. Now, most people don't know, but high blood sugar is one of the primary causes of aging and most diseases. Of course, it causes diseases such as diabetes, but also heart disease, you know, things like high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, and many other health problems. It also causes Alzheimer's. In fact, Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia are now classified as type 3 diabetes. Also, high blood sugar causes, you know, hair problems, uh, wrinkles, muscle loss, fat gain, and other what I call vanity related problems that basically make you look and feel older. Now, the real problem is that most people, including doctors, are basically misinformed and confused about the real causes of high blood sugar and diabetes, and that's what today's short video will reveal to you. In fact, you'll also discover how to avoid and even reverse diabetes, so make sure you watch everything. However, before I continue, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel right now while it's fresh in your mind because I've got some very important videos coming out soon about this and similar topics, and I don't want you to miss out. However, before I begin, I want to point out that genetics always plays a big role in everything, especially when it comes to type 1 diabetes. However, with that said, everything else can be avoided as it relates to high blood sugar and type 2 and type 3 diabetes. Now, the primary reason for high blood sugar problems is simply due to hormonal imbalances. This includes your sex hormones, such as uh, testosterone, estrogens, and similar hormones, in addition to stress hormones, such as cortisol, thyroid, and adrenal hormones. And yes, all of these hormones unfortunately get worse as we age. And yes, all of these hormones can easily be improved at any age. And that's the good news. So please don't worry if you have you know bad genetics or a family history of diabetes like I do, or maybe you're older and think you know you can't make any improvements and it's all quote unquote downhill. Listen, in over the 25 years, I've never ever had a single person, patient or client that I didn't improve their blood sugar levels. And this even includes those with genetic type 1 diabetes. Listen, when you know how the body works and the secrets to fixing health problems, anything and everything is possible. All right, so let's discuss two clinically proven ways to do this. So there are two specific things that you need to do to improve your blood sugar levels so you can avoid and even reverse diabetes. The first is you want to lower your blood sugar to healthy levels. You obviously do not want high blood sugar because that's the major problem. However, you also do not want low blood sugar because that causes negative hormonal changes by increasing stress hormones such as cortisol, which is known to cause diabetes and insulin resistance. Which brings me to your second goal, and that's to improve insulin sensitivity. You see, most people never talk about insulin resistance and insulin sensitivity, but this is the underlying cause of blood sugar problems. Simply stated, when you eat foods that increase your blood sugar, your pancreas secretes insulin to lower it back down to normal, healthy levels. But if your receptors have reduced sensitivity to this insulin and thus they become resistant, your body will now have to produce a lot more insulin to lower your blood sugar and this ends up causing all the problems. So you want to do are three simple things. The first is you want to lower blood sugar to healthy ranges. And this is done primarily through your diet. First, you want to lower your simple sugars and eat more complex carbs. Second of all, you want to have protein, healthy fats, and fiber with all of your meals. Third, you want to eat smaller meals, but more often. These three simple eating tactics keeps your blood sugar stable, not high or low. The second thing you want to do is improve insulin sensitivity to reduce the insulin secretion. And this is done primarily through exercise. The first is you want to build more muscle by lifting weights. This can be done by cables or dumbbells or machines or just simply using your own body weight. Number two, you want to do more cardiovascular exercise. And my favorites are fast walking and also rebounding. So you see, the more you exercise, the more muscle you have and the more your body can burn and utilize the sugar and the carbohydrates you eat. And the end result is better insulin sensitivity. And number three, you want to take specific nutrients that help lower your blood sugar and improve your insulin sensitivity at the same time. Listen, 
Let's face it, most of us do not eat perfectly all the time. And even if we did, the foods we have these days are just lacking in many of the essential nutrients that our body requires to function at optimal levels. And the good news is that there are specific herbs, vitamins, and minerals that are clinically proven to help lower your blood sugar and increase insulin sensitivity at the same time. And the bonus is that you get the biggest and fastest improvements with the least amount of effort when taking these specific nutrients with an improved diet and exercise plan. In fact, you can get more details about this in my next video by clicking the link below in the description area. In fact, you can copy the same formula my uncle has used since 2001 to lower his blood sugar, to reverse his diabetes, get off his medications, and even lose 34 pounds of fat in the process. Just click the link below and watch the next video. Well, that's it for today. I hope this video gave you more clarity. If you liked it, please subscribe to this channel. If you found it helpful, please share the help with others so they can benefit as well. Also, do me a favor and please leave your questions and comments below. And most importantly, do yourself a big favor. Make sure you click the link below in the description area and watch the next short video about how I lowered my uncle's blood sugar by 46% in less than 30 days. As always, thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.